God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Bones that were crushed shall leap for joy before the Lord. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God. Put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help. With a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight. Burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled, contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion. Rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocausts offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The bones that that were crushed crushed shall shall leap leap for joy joy before before the Lord. Lord. At the very threshold of death, rescue me, Lord. Once I said, in the noontime of life, I must depart. To the gates of the netherworld, I shall be consigned for the rest of my years. I said, I shall see the Lord no more in the land of the living. No longer shall I behold my fellow men among those who dwell in the world. My dwelling like a shepherd's tent is struck down and borne away from me. You have folded up my life like a weaver who severs the last thread. Day and night you give me over to torment. I cry out until the dawn. Like a lion he breaks all my bones. Day and night you give me over to torment. Like a swallow I utter shrill cries. I moan like a dove. My eyes grow weak, gazing heavenward. O Lord, I am in straits, be my surety. You have preserved my life from the pit of destruction when you cast behind your back all my sins. For it is not the netherworld that gives you thanks, nor death that praises you. Neither do those who go down to the pit await your kindness. The living, the living give you thanks as I do today. Fathers declare to their sons, O God, your faithfulness. The Lord is our Savior. We shall sing to stringed instruments in the house of the Lord all the days of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. 
At the very very threshold threshold of of death, death, rescue rescue me, Lord. Lord. I will praise my God all the days of my life. My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all the days, all my days. Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. The Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord who protects the stranger and upholds the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will praise Praise my my God God all the days days of my my life. life. If we believe that Jesus died and rose, God will bring forth with him from the dead those also who have fallen asleep believing in him. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. You turned my sorrow into joy. You have rescued me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I am the resurrection. I am the life. To believe in me means life, in spite of death. And all who believe and live in me shall never die. Blessed be the Lord the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set set them them free. free. He has has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I am the resurrection, I am the life. To believe in me means life in spite of death, and all who believe believe and live in me shall shall never die. Let us pray to the all-powerful Father who raised Jesus from the dead and gives new life to our mortal bodies, and say to him, Lord, give us new life in Christ. Father, through baptism we have been buried with your Son and have risen with him in his resurrection. Grant that we may walk in newness of life so that when we die we may live with Christ forever. Provident Father, you have given us the living bread that has come down from heaven and which should always be eaten worthily. Grant that we may eat this bread worthily and be raised up to eternal life on the last day. Lord, you sent an angel to comfort your son in his agony. Give us the hope of your consolation when death draws near. You delivered the three youths from the fiery furnace. Free your faithful ones from the punishment they suffer for their sins. God of the living and the dead, you raise Jesus from the dead. Raise up those who have died and grant that we may share eternal glory with them. For these things and the others we hold in our heart, we now pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art art in heaven, hallowed be be thy thy name. Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy will be done done, on earth as as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O God, who in your wondrous 
Providence chose your servant, Pope Benedict, to preside over your church. Grant, we pray, that having served as the vicar of your son on earth, he may be welcomed by him into eternal glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.